Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. I'm going to go with a good old palette cleanser after the just grossness that was this. Anyways, I want to have a palette cleanser. I've been playing him a lot recently and I know, I realise, but I need a palette cleanser. I need some fun. I need some enjoyment and this, this character can give me exactly that. I... I I don't really find this character all that stressful. I just find them enjoyable. If you can let go of the idea that death... Like if, if you can basically sort of not get annoyed by the deaths, he's actually not too bad. Uh, especially with the Tainted Lost Redux mod on, it makes him even better. Uh, thank you for killing that guy for me, because he was rather annoying. Um, trying to take out the other one. I was just about to say, of course, this guy's going to give me the health up, but he actually can't, so that isn't going to happen. But... This guy, great start, flight, uh, spectral, really good stats, and eternal heart, which I think eternal hearts restore our holy mantle, so I'm going to leave that there for now, because, um, oh shit, I just about to say, I might lose it this floor, I would hope not, but I might, and there you go, I, I just did. For some reason, I didn't really see this guy. Get gone. I see that fly there. But yeah, if I, I think now if I go in here and I grab this Eternal Heart. Hey, look, there you go. Holy Mantle restored. What a great addition to this character. What a great addition. Because it's, it's, I feel like thematically it makes sense, right? I feel like it works. I'm glad that they, uh, they thought about that and added that in. As for today's question of the day. Mm, 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 mm. What's a subject for you that like immediately gets you like riled up if someone brings it up what, what's what's one of those subjects that if someone starts talking about it it's immediately gonna get you like a little bit annoyed a little bit riled up i think there that's always an interesting thing from different people's perspectives um what sort of your like tipping point topic is uh because everyone has a different one um i'm trying to think i've got a few in my like i've got a few but i'm trying to think like what's my number one it's my number one. It's for a while, it, it was it was definitely to do with uh, like I'm I'm really not into politics like at all. So for for a while for me, it was always when people got like really sort of heavily into politics when I told them that I didn't care, or um, when people try talking to me about football and like I'll make it clear that I just don't give a shit and the like. For example, I, I got my hair cut the other day, um, and I had this really weird interaction. I swear she must have just misheard me, because, like, for the rest of the haircut, she was completely, like, pleasant and, and nice. But, um, had this sort of awkward moment where, she, like, I was just chatting with her, and, um, she was, it was my first time having, having gone to this place, and so, um, I was saying, oh, yeah, I used to normally get my hair cut back at home where my parents are from, um, this guy jumps a lot faster than I remember him jumping. Unfortunately for me, I just walked right into him. Okay, um, not a great start to that run anyways with the item we got. But anyways, yeah, I, I like, had this weird moment where she was asking, like, I, I said, oh, I used to get my hair cut back at home, my parents are from, and she was saying, oh, where your parents from? And I was saying about it, and then I was saying, like, oh, it's a Turkish barber place that um, that I, I go to all the time. I've been going there for a few years now, I really like it. But one thing that I'm not a big fan of is that they're all big into football, and so they often tried to talk to me about football and I'm like I, I said I'm not really into it and she was like oh I'm quite into football and then proceeded to talk to me about football like for the next like minute two minutes and it, like after me having said that one of the things I didn't like about my previous hairdressers is that they spoke about football her reply was to then talk about football so I swear she must have misheard me and thought that I said that I liked football but it was just a strange interaction. I was like, oh, for God's sake, another haircut where I have to listen to someone bang on about football that I just don't care about. Um, little Loki. Not great, but not terrible. Not terrible. Yeah, I just, I just found it funny. Whoa, those spy. Oh, my Lord. These spied. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen the explosive spiders move at such land, like, fucking breakneck speeds. God damn, that's crazy. What the hell, guys? What the hell? What the F? There are you. Move along, move along. 
good. I'm, I'm reckoning we're gonna get Meltdown here. I just, I whenever I get like a lot of Fiendfolio rooms, I feel like I just always get Meltdown. Oh no, I didn't, okay, nice. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> I put myself in such a terrible spot then. It's fine, we'll keep it going, we'll keep it going. We get Blood Clot. We'll keep this one rolling regardless. We might get another holy card down the road. We might get an eternal heart here and there. We might get a bed to rest in. There's a few different ways we can make this this work. Need a key here, please, game. That'd be lovely. Sadly, not this room. Good. The shots with little Loki actually help quite a lot. I'm expecting to be so useful. Oh, double coins there. Nice. Okay, no tail shooting for you guys, please. Thank you. I don't want any of that anywhere near any of my business, please. That's a bomb, not a key. I would like a key, please. That's a penny, not a key. It's getting close, but it's not quite, not quite getting it right yet. Oh, come on now. It's getting a bit ridiculous. That was very close with that little spider brother. Very close. And then the last room that we can get a key in. You all do diagonal. You pew out a fly. The one more of you? Or is it just, just the one? Ah, for God's sake. Really? Doesn't it suck when you get no key? It's like the worst feeling in Isaac. It's so many opportunities to give me one as well. Oh, wait, what? Why is this guy moving so fast? Does this guy move based on your movement speed or something? Because, no, but my movement speed's at base. This guy feels like he's moving a lot faster than normal. Yeah. Got him. No keys to speak of. Sad. Tears down. I think... I was just about to say, I think if we don't get anything good in this Devil Deal, we're restarting, because that's a very bad start. No key, bad boss item, bad pill, and then the Devil Deal wasn't very good either. Holy God. You just gotta accept your L's sometimes. Just gotta accept those L's. But yeah, still really, really enjoy playing as this guy. Still... I, 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 the Jacob and Ezel run that you guys saw yesterday, I recorded earlier today, and I'm still like, oh, my, I'm still stressed from it. I, I still, I still feel that stress. Skinny Odd is actually pretty good here. I like Skinny Odd. I don't mind the janky shots either. I always forget skinny odds at the speed up as well. Good stuff. Okay, and we got another item room this floor, remember, because it is an XL. Wow, yeah, this is good stat upgrades. We're, we're at tier cap already with this setup. It's kind of surprising. Straight to the boss. A few of these... Fire Cheney boys. Varying lengths. Get rid of the most criminal offenders and leave the rest. Penny there. Back, back, back to our other item room. At least we don't require any keys for these two. A pro of an XL floor on the first floor. XL floor, like, first floor is the only floor you realistically want an XL floor. Because all you're missing out on is a shop. You're not missing out on a dev... Actually, are you missing out on a devil deal? Like, no, you're not. You're not missing out on a devil deal or anything, are you? So... Wow. Key there for next floor, at least. Thank you, thank you. Don't remember what these guys do. They just do a little charge and leave a little, uh... 
Leave a little fire behind. Another key for the next floor as well. Bomb flies. Wasn't expecting you guys, but I do not like this. I don't know if having my janky tears is uh, is causing me problems or not, but I just like the extra stats you get. Range and fire rate. And normally, obviously, spectral as well, but we already have spectral. Made the worm trinket so much better when they changed that. Was that in Repentance that they did that? Or was that an update after Repentance? I think it was in Repentance that they did that. Good. Oh, shit. Was not expecting you, good sir. Item room. We got glitter bombs, or we could do some re-rolling. I think here we do some re-rolling. I like the respite of glitter bombs, by the way. Flatstone doesn't really do anything for us. It's potential synergy. Bean is not good. That is amazing. Check for a potential holy card. Nope. Right. Okay, we got some good stuff going here. Good stuff going. Max fire rate on the first floor. Wacky tears, bugger tears. It's all good, baby. It's all good. I love bugger tears. One of my favorite items. Used to be even better in AB plus when it the, the buggers didn't decay. Now they decay after 10 seconds. But still, it's not that much of a nerf, really. 10 seconds is still a long time to be able to keep them on an, on an enemy. Got him. Stai, even better. Oh, God. Dude, there's so many little dudes. There's so many little dudes. It's just obscene. Stop calling them in. There's so much fire, so many little guys. It's just, it's crazy. This guy does too much. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. That guy does too much. Certainly be taking goat head here. Right. Let's go. We've not beaten anything as this guy yet, I don't think. Oh no, we have. We got um we got light path done as this guy. Nice. I guess we'll go Dark Path today. No Mega Satan done yet, though. Mega Satan is only haunted chests, though. It's not a particularly good unlock. What's going on with this big guy? There he is. Wondering where he'd gone. Get a bugger tear stuck to him and he'll die. Good, good. I feel like this is a really, really good run so far. Just, I'd be so much more comfortable if we could just get a holy card sitting in our little pocket, just ready to go. Do all of you just get soy mill? Not so bad for us, actually. Yeah, and we obviously go ahead here is really good too. Lots and lots of devil deals to come our way. That eye was very, very close to hitting me there. Did not like that. High Priest is a pretty instant boss kill. Oh, I forgot that was so, I was so close there. You little shyster. Rotten babies, good stuff. Good stuff. Stone chest could potentially be good. I'm just going to play it safe, though. I don't need it. Check this for a holy card. No holy card. We've got Glizzy there, though, which is a lot of stats. A lot of headless boys here. Really? Oh, High Priestess, you didn't even go for the right enemy, either. 
room is gross. <laughs> I've never seen a double trouble this awful before. Pin is dead at least. Look at all the tears he's left hanging around. I think you're trash here. It also his health bar is so goddamn confusing. We got him. Some extra money here. You can almost get glizzy. Unfortunately, not something I'm willing to take here, which is quite upsetting. Because I'm familiar that char charges to shoot an Ipecac explosive when the player is hit. Actually, do you know what? I will take that. It's a bit of a risk, but it's a charge up, so I can just tap fire if I need to. And he does. He is a reusable bomb thrower. The secret rooms. I'm just going to be aware of him is all. I either don't stop firing, or I, um, put this guy up, or I tap shoot. Which I think is the safest method for now. But it's good to have him, because being able to get infinite secret rooms is pretty, ga pretty darn good. Infinite explosions, should I say. Not particularly infinite secret rooms, but kind of is. All I need is a penny. All I need is a penny. Cool secret room there. Go back and do some extra rooms, I guess. I could do this. Let's do this. I didn't really want to, but... Trying my best to push this. Not particularly easy. Yeah, just don't let go of fire until I know it's safe. Good, good. We got our money, we can get glizzy. It's only a, like a little bit of stats for each, but it's still stats, so... I will take the glizzy. It even goes past fire rate cap as well, so... So there. Right, on our way. Yeah, I, the land's probably going to end up costing me a holy mantle at some point when I inevitably forget about it, but... I'm going to pretend to uh, ignore the inevitability of that. Priestess there. We'll go with this. Good, you're almost dead. Tried to bomb him there, didn't really work. Unfortunately, I can't do much against this guy in terms of sticking stuff to him either. The whim of the game, how well that works. Get that bomb on him. There you go. Not too bad. Didn't need the sprinkler there. Although it wouldn't have been a bad idea to take it. These guys aren't that bad. You can keep PP distance from them. They're not going to really do much to you. More money. Money's looking good right now. I think we've got Chaos of Conquest on at the minute, don't we? Yeah, we do. Got explosives. Throw a bomb out there. Play Doh Cookie is awesome. Baby.
Missing Pidge. Lost Cork. Nah. Okay, got some good stuff going on here. Right, let's go. Okay, yeah, just keeping a, keeping a track of our little lamb dude. Otherwise, he's not not too bad for us, really. Keep an eye on the electricity of these guys. Yeah, very problematic for me. Goddamn love the fact that you got Play-Doh Cookie here. Play-Doh Cookie's just a lot of fun. All the status effects. All the status effects. Froggies are pretty dangerous. Keep an eye on them. They can do some real work lobbing shit over the top of everything. Filigree Feather. Now that would be banging if we weren't already locked into Devil Deals. Sadly nothing there. Oh wait, actually. Tainted, more, more common tainted treasure rooms is potentially interesting. Okay, boss time. Got some explodey boys in the business here, careful. That can be champions as well. Perfection is here now. I'm sorry, you've got to go. Flies diagonally across the room, has a chance to drop a fiend minion when colliding with an enemy or projectile. Minions disappear on room clear. Um, yeah, take that. Conjoined as well. Lovely stuff. Okay, down we go. Still on 5.16 fire rate. Got an XL floor again here. Sadly, no more wacky tiers though. Well, I mean, they're wacky in terms of colour. They're not wacky in terms of uh, which directions they move. Good, I should check this just in case. Nah. But yeah, perfection here. Now that we've got that, obviously going to be getting a lot more chests and stuff. I like that a lot. That was a very big risk by me there. Don't really know why I took it. Don't think I can take a spicy key without losing my holy mantle. Get away with your drippy eye. Oh god. And a troll bomb as well. Get that off me. Oh my lord. Also spikes. Movie spikes. I don't like that. But yeah, conjoined is so good for uh, bugateers because bugateers have homing. Um, and they uh, are going to move around the room for us. Just attacking enemies wherever they go, because we're just firing out more of them now. Backstabber's great. Absolutely love Backstabber. Just extra... Backstabber's just extra damage that you like. You're, you're basically always going to be getting at some time or another. Because you're going to be hitting enemies in the back whether you intend to or not. And a lot of enemies seem to just have their back everywhere. Like, all of them is their back. No thank you. Okay, you're done good. You've not done good, but you are done good. Spectral fellas. Oh, you bastard. He telefragged me with that guy. Kind of. Not really, but kind of. I'm going to say that he did. Again, not really sure what's going on with this room right now. Okay, so we are mantleless right now, which I really don't like the idea of. But we push forward, we push forward. 
That is a mimic chest. Why is that still able to spawn? I have a mod on that should prevent that from happening completely. Why has that happened? America, explain. What, what's with all the troll bombs, game? Right, shop, you better give me what I need here. Better give me that holy card, baby. Ha ha, yes. Holy card. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you for doing that for me, Shop. I don't know if the shop has a higher chance of spawning them or anything, but I always seem to get more of mine from the shop than anywhere else. Just a pill. Oh, God. Hit that guy with a rotten tomato there and just destroyed his soul. Still need that spare holy card I was talking about, but for right now, I'm reasonably happy. We've got a very, very decent build going on. Is this an Excel floor? Because this floor is just, yeah, forever long. Which means we're going to have to go back and get our other item. I don't want to stop firing because I know that if I stop firing, I'm going to end up hurting myself. Or spawning more of these guys. Okay, that did actually help for just killing these guys quicker because I could rip their goddamn heads off. Are we still not at the boss yet? Goddamn, still not at the boss. Right, I need to stay over rocks when this thing spawns because last time it just spawned on me. It did it again! Fuck you, maybe it spawns where you last were stood and you've got to keep moving or something? Yeah, there's a potential chance I just don't understand how those things work. Finally found the boss. Can't do the boss yet though. Uh, let's quickly just pop that so we don't have to keep firing. Right. Oh my god, we got so far back to go. Holy shit, this is such an insane XL floor. Look at all these goddamn rooms. Wow. I'm hoping it's just off of this big room down here. I, have to, I don't have to go all the way back. Okay, that transforms to a haunted chest now. Good. I got cancer out of it. Um, I've got to take that. Perfection, I love you, but getting that much fire rate is kind of insane. Um, yeah, that's fine because we have flight. Good bit of damage. But yeah, we don't have anything that's triggering off of perfection right now. Therefore, I don't care. Bugger Tears is static. I'm pretty sure I don't think it triggers off of... Who's this little dude that I've got? A headless fellow that I've uh, managed to acquire. I don't really know who he is. Double cage... Not too bad. Throws you immediately. Mum's foot's definitely where things start to get a little bit hot. Bugger tears don't really help us here either, so... Also, we can't stand too close because fire mine could screw us. Whoa! I got hit by something there. I definitely saw the tear hit me, but I'm not sure what spawned it. I think I killed something that spawned a tear. I think Mum spawned in it. Oh, it was one of those little heads. Yeah, I did. Okay. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, and then we want to go dark path this time around. Um, do we have any guppy items yet? We don't. I'm going to take multi-dimensional baby because we have a lot of shots going off. And then... I'll take this and then back out.
cool. Right. We out of here. We will see how this goes. Hemolacry, I think, is a good choice. Obviously, at the minute, we are one hit away from death, so... We just gotta hope for the best. I don't know why our, like, tears are going so high with Hemolacria, though. I, like, really going quite far. Still remember we've got our little, uh, a little fella with explosive shots, because I did forget for a hot second there. We got the Dark Rock. Think this is worth it? Yeah, mostly. Only really big stats down I care about there is probably the fire rate. Everything else is completely fine. Missing, though, you say. Or oh, whatever it's called. N. I can't remember what that trinket's called now. But it's, it's basically just missing no trinket. We found our boss really quick here. Fortunately, we have fast boys. No speed up, please. No friends till the end, please. Oh, God. This is already a rough enough fight as, it, fight as it is, and you give me three death skulls in here. Didn't like that. Lump of coal is good in this situation. Right. Okay. Despite not having a holy card, this is going well. Obviously, without a holy card, this could all just come tumbling down very, very quickly. But we can't, we can't really think like that. Gotta think positive thoughts. Two batteries doesn't do much for us, sadly. Come on. Holy card, you know you can't you know you wanna just drop for me. Oh yes, okay, okay, okay. We can at least try and get a holy card out of this thing, so we don't need our money for anything else. Two cards so far, no holy card though. It's a damn shame. Ah, it's a damn shame. But I had to try the gamble. I had to give it the give it a good old go. I definitely think Hemolacry was a good shout. Obviously, we lost some damage with their uh, bugger tears because we're not getting as many bugger tears stuck. But otherwise, it's going pretty well. Also, it seems like we've done a reasonably good job of picking the right directions here. Of course, I say that and then go the wrong way. Weird room. <laughs> the room was just over before I even started. I didn't even hit any of those enemies. Oh shit. Let's see you there, Skull Lexi boy. God damn it. Each eye spawned in a vastly different position then. That was really annoying. Okay, good. Got our devil deal. Take the soul guy. We don't need the money for anything, I, I don't think, but... I'm going to take it anyways, just in case, because we could go back and use that machine and get a holy card. It's only 10 coins, so I realise it's not super likely, but I feel like I owe it to myself to try. Also, check this. Very upset that I checked this. Oh, money. It is money. Not a lot, but it's some. The mother's. We're gonna spin down, Shard. I'll take that, I guess. 
Oh, well, glass spin down, not spin down shard. They are two different things. But I'll take that just in case something comes across that we want to use it on. And then we want to be going dark path, right? Yeah, dark path. Okay, without I'd say without a holy card, there's a good chance we die on the next floor or two. But obviously, I'll try my best. I, I don't even know what's going on in this room. Apparently, I killed whatever was in here. That, he dropped a card then, so this guy can drop cards. Not quite sure what you're about, sir. That was very close. <laughs> Another card. God damn, it's a 10% chance and we've seen like 10 cards since we got since we got a holy card. Devil card. Dude, this guy needs to die. Like, right now. Thank you. Explodey boy. How am I missing this guy? Thank you. I think you do explosions, right? Firming shots and explosions, okay. Okay. I'll be blowing up skulls where I can for cards. Of course, that doesn't work out often. Really? How, how many of those can it give me? Triple version of this guy, I don't like that, but he should die reasonably quickly. Okay. You're very close to me there. There you go, we got Satan done at least. That's one unlock. Dude, stop giving me cards if you're not at least going to give me the one that I want. <laughs> Seven seals is great. I'll take it. Oh, I, I literally only get one. Okay. Probably not the best idea to just open one. I, I, I didn't know that worked that way, I'll be honest. Yeah, damn it. I wasn't quite sure what that enemy did, even though I saw him in the last room. Either way, we got a mark. That's pretty good. I hope you guys did enjoy this one, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.